our colorful garden. Deepak and Sumati like to grow plants. So each of them planted a flowering plant in their garden. They used to go to school only after watering their plants. Once they went to their grandparents' house to enjoy the village fair for a weekend. When they came back, they were shocked to see their plants withering away. Deepak felt very sad and asked his father, Why have these plants dried up? His father replied, No one watered the plants in our absence. That is the reason, Deepak. Sumati had something to ask. Will plants die if we don't pour water? Yes, of course, came the reply. Father, plants don't have mouth. How do they drink water? asked Deepak. Father answered with a smile. We drink water through our mouth. The plants absorb water through their roots. Plants absorb minerals also along with water. They supply water to all parts of the plant through the stem. It helps in the growth of the plant. Sumati asked her father, What does the root look like? Father uprooted a grass and started describing it. The root The part of the plant found below the soil is the root system. It firmly fixes the plant to the soil. Plants absorb the minerals needed for growth from the soil along with water. Certain plants store food in their roots. Sumati uprooted a Lucas Tumbai plant. She found the root of Tumbai different from the root of grass. Why is this root different? asked Sumati. Father explained the difference. The root of grass belongs to the fibrous root system. It arises from the base of the stem as a bunch. But Tumbai root is different. It belongs to the tap root system. In the tap root system, the main root goes deep into the soil to fix the plant firmly in the soil. Fibrous root system It is found as a cluster at the bottom of the plant. It is not rooted deep in the soil. Tap root system. In this type, the main root grows like a nail. It is rooted deep in the soil. Deepak asked his father, The carrot is also found under the soil. Is it a root? Yes, some plants store food in their root, answered his father. Plants that store food in their roots are radish, carrot and beetroot. Deepak and Sumati were thrilled to know about the roots. They wanted to know about the other parts of the plant as well. Their father started explaining about the stem, leaf, fruits and seeds. Look children, I am going to show you the different parts of the plant. 
This is the root. This is the stem. This is the leaf. This is the fruit. This is the flower. Let me explain about the parts in detail. The stem. The stem is the part of the plant seen above the soil. It holds the leaves, the flowers and the fruits. The leaves grow from its nodes. Certain stems are found below the soil and help in the storage of food. Example for such a plant is turmeric. Plants that store food in their stems are turmeric, potato and ginger. The leaf. Different plants have leaves of different shapes and colors. Leaves are of two types. The simple leaf and the compound leaf. Leaves have chlorophyll. It helps the plant to prepare its own food. Flower The most beautiful part of the plant is the flower. Flowers are also of different shapes and colors. Some are even multicolored. The fruit. Flowers turn into fruits. Fruits differ in their color, shape, taste and smell. Seeds are found inside the fruits. There may be one or many seeds. Seeds also differ in their shape, nature and texture. A baby plant arises from the seed. Water plants Some plants adapt themselves to live in water. They either float on or remain submerged in the water. They have short roots. They have cavities in the stem and leaves to float. Stomata are small holes on the leaf surface which help in transpiration. They also help them adapt to live in water. Water plants are also called hydrophytes. An example of a floating plant is icornia. An example of a fixed plant with long roots is lotus. An example of a submerged plant is hydrilla. Jagadish Chandra Bose is the Indian scientist who discovered that plants have life cycle and feelings as animals. Facts The flower that blooms once in 12 years is Kurinji. The flowers that bloom in the night are white in color and they have attractive fragrance. Take a glass jar, pour water into it, and drop few drops of ink into the jar. 
Now place a rooted tumbai plant in the bottle. Observe the plant after a while. You can see that the blue water has been transported to other parts through the stem. Animals around us Look at this picture. Shall we list out the animals and birds in this picture? What are the birds found in water? They are the duck and the crane. What are the animals that crawl? It is the chameleon. Which is the biggest animal in this picture? It is the cow. Which is the smallest animal in this picture? It is the squirrel. Which are the animals that feed on plants? They are the deer, goat, monkey, rabbit and cow. Which are the animals that feed on other animals? They are the tiger and the eagle. Which are the animals that feed on both plants and animals? It is the eagle. What are the birds that can be kept and grown at home? It is the parrot. Fish. Fish use their boat shaped body. To swim in water. Fins are moving in their body. They help the fish to move forward. These help the fish to turn around and move. The tail helps the fish to change their direction. Gills are opening and closing near the head. These are present inside the gill cover. They help the fish to breathe. Frogs Frogs live in both land and water. When they are on the land, they take in air through the nostrils into the lungs and breathe. Frogs use their skin to breathe when they are in water. They use their hind legs to hop on land. The web present in the hind legs help them to swim in water. Birds Birds fly in the sky. It flies as if it were floating on water. Things that are lighter float on water. The body of a bird is boat shaped. It is of less weight. Their bones are hollow and light. Like fish, birds also use their tail to change their direction. 
they use their wings to fly all birds are not similar based on their feeding habits birds and animals have different types of beaks teeth and legs beaks woodpecker the strong pointed beak of the woodpecker helps it to make holes on the trees where they get worms sparrow the short beak of the sparrow helps it to feed on insects parrot the parrot has a hooked beak to crack seeds nuts and fruits duck the flat short beak of the duck helps it to separate its food from water eagle their sharp and hooked beaks help them tear the flesh of dead animals feet and claws duck birds like ducks have webbed feet they swim in water with the help of their webbed toes eagle and owl the strong feet and claws of the eagle and the owl help them hold their prey they are used to catch hold of their prey as they swoop down from great heights many birds have four toes among them a few have three toes in the front and one at the back others have two in the front and two at the back this helps the birds to hold the branch of the tree firmly birds and animals move from place to place in search of food and shelter they move using wings legs or fins certain animals like leaf insect chameleon and stick insect adapt with the environment to protect themselves from predators it is called camouflage classification of animals based on the food they eat animals are classified into three types herbivores animals that feed on plants are called herbivores these animals have flat short front teeth and large jaw teeth to chew the leaves carnivores animals that feed on the flesh of other animals are called carnivores they have sharp and pointed claws and teeth to tear the flesh omnivores animals that feed on both plants and animals are called omnivores charles darwin did various observations with animals and proved that man evolved from apes the monkeys facts the dove flies the longest distance the ostrich is the fastest running land bird